But it's an army of folks out there praying for his recovery. And, uh, and that's what we, we're believing in. We're believing and we know he's going to make a full recovery. For the first time, we're hearing from the family of Officer Ferguson Officer Travis Brown as he continues to fight for his recovery after being severely injured by protesters. This is First Alert 4 at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. Tonight, hope for Officer Brown's full recovery continues to grow. Our Melanie Johnson spoke to the people who have been by his side the entire time. Melanie. Corey and Sam, Travis T.J. Brown continues to make his family proud tonight. T.J. following in his father's footsteps, becoming a police officer as the baby out of six kids. They know him as a fashionable one with a million dollar smile as they remain close by his side then and right now as he lays in a hospital bed. When he wakes up, I want him to know and see all the support from the community, know that he's loved, his family and friends are there. We've been by his side. For Christina Bailey, the anticipation of her younger brother. An amazing son, brother, uh, and of course, father to his two daughters. Travis T.J. Brown opening his eyes comes with the love of seeing him blossom from a boy to a man. Just as a kid, he's always been really happy. That smile you hear everybody talking about, he's had that same smile since he's been a boy. She, along with his mother and siblings, have been by the Ferguson police officer's side around the clock after he was hurt during a protest Friday. This week, he underwent surgeries to address the swelling on his brain. How's he doing now? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's still in critical condition, um, but, you know, things are progressing. Um, you know, we're hope, you know, hoping and praying, or we're believing that, you know, he will wake up this weekend. The recovery expected to be a long one, but his circle is faithful that his smile will return again along with TJ's dance moves. He's just a person of empathy. He knows how to connect with people very well. Um, he's just a fun, loving person. I don't know anyone who has met him that does not love him. And to see the community he pours so much into pour back into him with the hearts, hands, hopes, and prayers for a life dedicated to service. I don't know if we could make it with without the support of the community. Um, the outpouring of love and support has been, um, it's just been amazing. He loves what he does and um, yeah, we're just, we're, we're proud of him and we just, you know, want him to get, get better. Travis Brown's family wants to send a special thank you to Ferguson Police Chief Troy Doyle and his wife who have been there every night by his side. In addition to backstoppers and every visitor, restaurant and person who has donated their time, money and prayers to the beloved TJ. A GoFundMe has been set up to assist in his road to recovery. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. All right, Melanie, thank you. Tonight marks